da 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 Okay, so let's move this guy to day 17. We're going so fast and I keep saying this like every single day, I know. <laughs> so yeah, day 17 of Vlogmas. Merry um, Christmas already? Like, it's almost there. Hey Lamfem, so I am making my breakfast shake and I wanted to gain some insights. So I have taken this bowl of just pure sugar and I have been looking at like the ingredients list of my uh, replacement, like my meal replacement powder that I use every morning for my breakfast shakes. I have been wanting to replace my meal replacement powder stuff uh, because it contains a lot of sugar. Those are some gut treats. Um, so I have one of these things left. It is unopened, so I'm first going to finish this or maybe I'm I'm going to use it for um, I don't know when I just want to go back to my old ways for a little bit or just to make like the transition easier like not all in once but just like gradually but I am just looking for 100 grams there is 60 grams of sugar that's almost like 60% of sugar so I calculated that of that sugar um, let's see I just calculated that it's like 7.9 grams of pure sugar and I just wanted to weigh that out because those are like the quick sugars that you want to avoid the ones that make your insulin go um, peak so 7.9 let's say that's about 8 grams how much sugar is in this shake that I eat every morning okay so this is 8 grams so this is the amount of pure sugar that I take in every morning I just wanted to visibly like see it to see like okay um, I don't really know what to think about I am not really like a hater of carbs and sugars as you can tell <laughs> no but we do have to get some energy in just to make our vital body functions work to heat our bodies to keep our thinking process going etc just to make our body work that's why i find it always very ignorant when people say like yeah you can just stop eating you have had enough for like the coming three years that's not how it works unfortunately um but something that i do want to keep in mind about sugars there is slow sugars and there's quick sugars and quick sugars they make your insulin uh, peak and they also like after having a peak it also comes down pretty quickly which makes you hungry again so that's why you would like to avoid sugar like this luckily most of the sugar that's in here because like these are only the simple sugars there's also like a shitload of of course there's a cat on the toilet like seriously but yeah um there's an oh Okay, that just went well. But there's this amount of like simple sugar and then there's another portion of this amount that is complex sugars. And those sugars, they make your insulin uh, peak, but not as fast as like the simple sugars. So they give you energy for a longer amount of time and they don't make you hungry again that fast. But this is very eye-opening. Um, to be really honest, I, it's, I don't think this is like a lot if I see it like this. It's, I, it's not a lot, but still, I want to see if there are healthier options to add to my breakfast shake. But I have to say, my breakfast shake is something that really really works for me you might find it very strange for me to gulp down like this uh, shake in the morning for me it is something that really really works and I think that's very important like I could have some yogurt for breakfast but I don't really like yogurt most people in Holland they just eat bread for breakfast and I just can't like I ugh, I don't know like chewing and all the fibers and it doesn't go down easily and this is something that really really has helped me this also really helped me when I lost um, about one 140 pounds like two years ago so I really like this breakfast shake but it is like very uh, it's a it's a very specific thing I really like it but other people probably hate it um, but for me it works and that's why I still drink it every single morning so yeah and also like there's a banana in here which also has sugar in it of course my final verdict it's okay for now I am going to try to mix it up a little bit I have been wanting to do that for a while and Stefan said like maybe you can just add um what's that stuff called like oats to it see how that tastes but I'm also like if it makes me not like want me to have breakfast like if it really turns me off on like having breakfast I will continue using this because it really helps me to get up in the morning have some breakfast instead of just laying in bed and not eating until I'm so hungry that I am more prone to binge like I uh, have been for like a really really long time before discovering that these shakes really really work for me so yeah that's a little lesson for myself and also also a little information about why I do have these shakes every morning. I also talked about it with my nutritionist by the way and she was like well I think it's the motivation behind it. If you eat these things because you believe... No Bixby, go away. 
If you eat these shakes because you believe that you have to in order to lose weight, then I would stop taking them. But if it helps you to just get out of your bed, have breakfast, and it's not because of like calorie decisions or being afraid to eat bread or whatever, she said, it's okay for now. And do I want to eat these breakfast shakes for the rest of my life? I would love to eat more, like more natural things. Like, I don't know, maybe some fruit or like a fruit smoothie, which also, by the way, has a lot of sugar. I don't know, like I am not planning on eating this the rest of my life but for now it really helps and so that's why I eat it. So let this also be your reminder like if you have something that really 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 helps you and maybe it's not like the most healthy thing but in the long term it will help you with success and help you with just doing the things you want to achieve then just stick with it you know like in the end, it's important that you just strive to... This is something that Elona says, like she got a transformations. I uh, do watch her videos sometimes and she said something that really sticked. Don't strive for perfection, strive for consistency. And if something helps you to strive for consistency over perfection, like sometimes it's better to just strive for that consistency instead of the perfection, if it helps you on the long term. So yeah, by the way, thank you, Elona. That really stuck in my head and it's... Um, yeah, it has been a little bit of a motto of mine since... Okay, so let's mix this up. So to me, this looks super, super delicious. Something I also wanted to say is eating the same thing over and over and over again. Like every single day I start with this breakfast shake, almost every single day. It really helps me also to not get overwhelmed because I have tried to eat healthy, like my way of healthy. I do have a lot of like thoughts about what is healthy and what is not. Like most people with binge eating disorder or other eating disorders, like they have very strict rules about like which foods they can have and which foods they can can't have and these rules are very like subjective they're not very objective they're just like person bound but these rules can just really get overwhelmed sometimes and I think that's what this shake does for me like when I wake up I'm not overwhelmed by oh my god what do I have to eat for breakfast today it just like it's 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 became a routine where I just make my shake eat it and after that I'm like oh wow I had breakfast <laughs> yay because it can get really overwhelmed to be just constantly thinking about what should I have what is healthy what isn't healthy okay so if I eat like fruit how much fruit do I have to eat and it's too low in calories so what should I pair it with stuff like that I don't want to be busy in my mind with food all day so at least for breakfast I can just wake up make it drink it and I have had breakfast and that's okay uh, and then for lunch I also most of the time eat the same and then for dinner I do plan a little about what I'm eating but most of the time I'm also just eating the same like uh, potatoes rice or pasta with some meat and some veggies it's just it really really helps me oh there's some sugar this is the sugar spoon um so yeah, but I'm going to eat bon appetit et smaklik. Hello, Lemfem. So it's time for lunch. I have one slice of bread with some cheese and some tomato. I'm going to top that with another slice of bread. And then on here, I'm just going to add one boiled egg. I have my eggs boiling over there, but one of them broke. So that's why the water is like this dirty, but it's okay. I will use that egg on my bread later. Then I will top it off with some cucumber and with my last slice of bread, cut it in half and that will be my sandwich. Also, I do have a question. So where you're from, you that is watching, this slice of bread is pretty thin. It's about one centimeter wide. For comparison, this is like a one tablespoon or no, one teaspoon uh, spoon. When I hold them like next to each other, this is like the size of our slices of bread. So is this normal for where you live or are your slices of bread even thinner or maybe thicker? I was just wondering. Okay, so please survive the cliff of doom. Okay, phew. <laughs> okay, so let's rinse it under some cool water and let's peel it and add it to our sandwich. I added some salt, I added some pepper, I'm just going to add my slices of cucumber to this and then my sandwich is done. This is what it looks like, bon appetit et smaklik. Hey Lamfem, so I am going over to my nieces and my nephew and we're going to make some gingerbread cookies. So I have collected all my stuff, I have different kinds of cookie cutters, I have this really cute one, it's like a reindeer, I have this gingerbread man, it's also super cute, snowflake, this is like a Santa with like his head, then we have this snowman, a moose and a Christmas tree. I'm also going to take some tools like my mixer, this thing, like my rolling pin, 
this rolling pin is a really really nice one because like you can put different kinds of like of these rings on it and then your dough always has the right thickness to it so it's really really cool i have an egg i have some butter i have some like food coloring i have my mix i have different kinds of sprinkles uh, i also have some ice some piping bags and stuff like that and i'm going for my instant royal icing i've never worked with like the instant icing so i'm very curious about it also i'm making some dinner because i'll have to eat then i'll have to leave so i'm just going to take all of this stuff i'm going to put it in a bag and um yeah that's about it What are you doing? Oh, come on. Hey Lam Fem. So I am back home and it is 1.30 a.m. already. So I went to my niece and my nephew and we made some cookies and we had a lot of fun. Yeah, I really like doing it. I just wanted to talk a little bit about today. I am still not feeling like the greatest and I noticed that I am having my periods like right now so maybe that is the cause of it I have no idea but I have just been feeling down a little bit like the last few days what is it do you want to be on YouTube do you want to say hello to the people what is it and why do you have so many broken whiskers what have you been doing do you want to say hello? Come, come on, come on, come cuddle. You are so cute. Do you want to cuddle? Have you missed me? No? That's okay. I did miss you. So yeah, I have been feeling down for the past few days and that's okay, like we all have our off days. I am just trying to stay busy, edit, also something that is really hard at the moment, like um, you saw me, like I decorated the cookies and then I ate one, or well no, I didn't eat one, I ate one bigger one with the icing and then two like little tiny ones, but these are things that people should be able to just decorate cookies and enjoy them, like I know that a lot of people would be like, yeah well you want to lose weight, like what are you doing decorating cookies, what are you doing like taste testing American food or snacks, I do understand understand why people would say things like why the heck are you decorating cookies like you want to lose weight um i think I've, I've talked about this before i am not mainly a weight loss channel i do want to lose weight but most important of all i want to better and heal my relationship with food and that means that i am able to decorate cookies every now and then of course i should not decorate cookies every single day i should not eat out every single day i should not order food every single day because i do see that as an unhealthy thing but like the last time i decorated cookies i think that was back in october it's not a triggering thing for me i really like the act of making cookies and decorating them and it's not like a really big trigger for me and even if it would be like even if it would form a trigger that's very unfortunate but at the same time i really do want to expose myself to these just mundane daily things i don't know like it it oh it makes me angry sometimes that i struggle so much with things that should be so easy in moods where I am at right now I have a little setback I do tend to very negatively talk to myself and I am working on that in therapy but it's times like these when these negative thoughts are coming back and they're very hard to like keep back I don't know like I can't even I don't know I, I don't know I am just feeling down 
and I am going to weigh in Tuesday, like coming Tuesday, I'm planning to do a weigh in. I don't know, I am so negative about it and in the state where I'm in at right now, it's better for me not to weigh in. But at the same time, like I really, really, really do want to weigh in and I know what my weight is, give or take, like I do calculate, like in terms of numbers, I do know my weight. I did weigh in, I think, like, uh, December 30th. I don't remember what I, like, weighed. I always weigh in twice, like, once for myself without any clothing. And then I also weigh in for YouTube, like, my videos with clothing. It's a little bit confusing, but I know that I lost weight. And I know that I'm doing all right. I know that I'm not binging as often as I used to, like, last year this time. In every category, I think I'm doing way better than where I was, like, last year. Of course, like, last year I did weigh less than I weigh now but I was getting all the weight back like mentally I am in a better place right now but like I said the past few days I have feel I have been feeling a little bit down oh my god words mm, stop the negative self-talk oh, it's so exhausting It's really hard to explain, like, all the thoughts that I'm having now, like, every single thought. I just drove home and every single thought going through my mind, it was negative, negative, negative. And it's so stupid because I know it's a mental thing. And I know that probably when I go to bed right now and when I wake up tomorrow morning, it will be better. And that's okay, but it doesn't change the way that I feel like right now in this moment. And it doesn't change the fact that I have to live through these emotions the rest of this evening until I fall asleep. And I don't know if it has to do with my period, like nothing really happens, like there's nothing that really happened. Maybe it's just the weather, maybe it's just the cold, maybe it's just like getting dark really quickly, maybe that's getting to me. I don't know, like I haven't been taking my extra vitamin D, that could be it, like I don't know, but it does not help to think about it and to blame myself for every little thing and all the negative thoughts. Everything that I do is wrong, everything that I produce every like my YouTube videos everything that I do right now it turns into shit in my head when I think about it everything that I do is negative and it could be better and it's not good enough something that I do know in in moods where I'm at right now don't take any rational decisions don't take any big decisions like spending huge amounts of money or making big decisions about should I I don't know, like, should I dump this person or should I argue with this person? There are certain things that I should not do in moods where I'm at right now. And most of the time it sucks, but luckily it's pretty late. Most of the time I just wait and I go to bed and I hope that it is gone, like, the next day. And most of the time it is gone. Or at least I have some motivation to be able to change a few things that make the chance, chance, chance of me staying in that same mood, like smaller, like tomorrow morning I could just take a warm, nice shower, really enjoy it, maybe have like um, a, a mask for my hair, or maybe vacuum, vacuum, really, I have to vacuum, change the sheets of my bed, also something that really, really works. So I'm just going to make a list of things that I really want to do tomorrow, things that I find very, very important. That's everything that I can do right now. Like, I feel shitty, People feel shitty every now and then. So, like, it's okay. I'm not alone. We all go through this. And that's something that I try to remember. I am not bingy, so that's very, very good. But I do struggle with eating at the moment. Like I said, also something that's very important. I have to just stick to my schedule of, like, breakfast shake, bread, dinner. Because every time that I do eat something that's not, like, in my schedule, like, let's say that I would do a taste test tomorrow. At this moment, it would mess with my mind. I did discover that when eating that cookie earlier tonight. I'm going to make a list and tomorrow will be a better day. And if not, yeah, just bear with me and we'll see. Also, like, sticking to my schedule in terms of eating is very important to give me at least some mental peace about eating, so that eating is not, like, the biggest one of my problems. So, yeah. Oh my god, I love having long hair in the winter. It's really warm. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end this video. If you're feeling down, you're not alone. I'm right there with you. But we'll get through this. We will get out of this. And um, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope that I see you tomorrow. And a little sneak peek for tomorrow. I am going to work with these beads and I'm super, super looking forward to it. Um, ooh.
there's this new technique that I want to try out, so bear with me and um, I'll hopefully see you in my next one. Bye, Lam Fam! You're the night sky trying to make me see your stars The dark gets only Now I see violence